In December 2008, the Missile Defense Agency conducted ground-based mid-course defense flight test FTG-05, a test of key components of the ballistic missile defense system. This test demonstrated the performance of the ground-based mid-course defense system, a critical element of the nation's layered ballistic missile defense system. Ground-based mid-course defense, or GMD, provides defense of the nation against long-range ballistic missiles during their mid-course phase of flight. FTG-05 exercised ballistic missile defense assets spanning thousands of miles across the United States and northern Pacific Ocean. FTG-05 was the most complex ballistic missile defense system test to date. During the test, a ground-based interceptor launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base intercepted a long-range target launched from Kodiak, Alaska. This engagement used sensor data from four ballistic missile defense system sensors, the an 2 transportable X-band radar, an Aegis ballistic missile defense ship equipped with the SPY-1 radar, the upgraded early warning radar at Beale Air Force Base, and the sea-based X-band radar. Also during FTG-05, a simulated sea-based engagement was performed. Operators aboard a second downrange Aegis ship simulated the launch of a standard Missile 3 interceptor using target tracking data from the an 2 radar. This provides important data for future engineering and development. FTG-05 is the culmination of many months of extensive planning, ground tests, and preparation of interceptor and test support hardware. The FTG-05 Exo-Atmospheric Kill Vehicle, or EKV, underwent initial assembly in Tucson, Arizona, and was integrated into the payload avionics module in Huntsville, Alabama. Once complete, the Kill Vehicle was shipped to Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, where first, second, and third booster stages of the interceptor were assembled and stacked. Upon arrival, the kill vehicle was mated to its booster stack to form a complete ground-based interceptor. Following checkout, the FTG-05 interceptor was transported to the test launch facility, emplaced in an operationally configured silo and readied for launch. The FTG-05 flight test was initiated by a long-range target launch from Kodiak Launch Complex, Alaska. The target vehicle flew in a southeasterly direction on a trajectory representative of real-world threats to the United States. As the threat target continued downrange, a forward-based an 2 X-band radar located at Juneau, Alaska acquired and tracked the target. Target track information from the radar was relayed to the GMD fire control system with control nodes located at Fort Greeley, Alaska and at the Missile Defense Integration and Operations Center on Schriever Air Force Base, Colorado. Warfighters used the GMD fire control system to manage the engagement. Data was also sent to the Ballistic Missile Defense System's Command, Control, Battle Management and Communication System known as C2BMC. C2BMC provides critical situational awareness to combatant commanders across the globe. As the threat progressed into its field of view, an uprange Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense ship used its onboard SPY-1 radar to acquire and track the target. Aegis sent track data to C2BMC and to GMD Fire Control. Similarly, an upgraded early warning radar at Beale Air Force Base, California, acquired, tracked the threat, and sent data to C2BMC and GMD Fire Control. Using available data from the radars, GMD Fire Control provided a cue to the sea-based X-band radar which acquired and tracked the threat warhead. SBX tracked the target through the engagement and performed hit assessment. Data from all four radars, the an 2 
Aegis BMD with SPY-1, the Beale upgraded early warning radar, and the sea-based X-band radar was combined to achieve the best possible and most accurate track of the target. Using this data, the GMD fire control system's sophisticated software calculated and delivered a firing solution and intercept flight plan to the ground-based interceptor at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. At the appropriate moment, warfighters exercising operationally realistic tactics, techniques, and procedures ordered the ground-based interceptor to launch. The command launch equipment Five, at Vandenberg four, executed three, the launch two, order. One, zero. And launch status is launched. After the first two stages of burn, the third booster stage adjusted the trajectory to take the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle to its separation point. Following separation, the in-flight interceptor communications data terminal at Vandenberg Air Force Base sent the kill vehicle target trajectory updates based on continued radar track. Using this updated information, the kill vehicle positioned itself through a series of divert and control maneuvers to acquire the target with onboard sensors. The kill vehicle performed warhead discrimination and maneuvered to engage and intercept the target. At closing speeds in excess of 14,000 miles per hour, the kill vehicle intercepted the target warhead. The kill vehicle carries no explosives and used only the force of collision to destroy the threat warhead. Data collected during FTG-05 will be analyzed to evaluate ballistic missile defense system performance. Extensive post-test analysis provides risk reduction for future ground-based mid-course defense and ballistic missile defense system tests.